Now, when I went to GoDaddy, I was not going to actually, you know, change a company and flip it so hard in another direction. So it became a place of women empowerment and not a place of objectification. Uh, it, it just turned out that I figured it out after I was in the job. And I thought, gee, I, I, this is really interesting. I bet we could turn this thing into a global powerhouse, make it a really interesting company if we had a vision that was fantastic. And so we actually developed a vision that was, you know, larger than life radically shift the global economy toward life-fulfilling independent ventures for small people, and then just started hiring folks that could go try to make that happen. Now, one of the ways you can actually do that is to flip something really hard, like your advertising, and start showing that, just a quick stat, 58% of small businesses in the United States are run by women. Hey, look at the room. Look around. Uh, so. Let's change the advertising, first of all, and this is the easiest thing to do. Change the advertising so when we show ourselves, and by the way, the company was pretty diverse and actually had a, you know, 20 percent 20 women employees. And strange, strangely enough, they, they were kind of ashamed of the advertising. And when they had a conversation with somebody, it would start with an apology. You know, sorry, I know they're offensive, but you know, and they were, women were called go daddy girls. They felt pretty bad about that. So we just flipped the advertising and showed women as small business people that were fighting the fight, you know, making, making life happen for their families. Uh, and it was, that was re really, really simple. Now, I'll forward to the first conversation I had with uh, Maria. So Maria tells her husband that she's going to meet with the CEO of GoDaddy. <laughs> what? And, and Maria's husband says, GoDaddy? They're a horrible company, <laughs> horrible. But she, she kept an open mind, and I had a conversation with her. It's got to be almost five years ago. And uh, I said, this is what's going to happen with the company over the next five years. I really wish you'd be part of it. We're going to form a, a GoDaddy Women in Technology group. Fast forward, uh, Anita Borg Institute named us one of the top 12 companies for women technologists. 50% of our new college graduates coming into the company, engineers are women now. Roughly 43% of the interns engineering are, are coming in are women. Really meaningful for me uh, personally. Uh, and I think that that kind of authenticity uh, makes a hell of a lot of a difference. And I've tried to push uh, as much of it into other execs uh, in my industry uh, as possible.